morning everyone uh, sorry had some issues on that first video and so I wanted to start again I wonder if I can maybe look I'm outside in a kind of our shop we've been remodeling our house I'm trying to find a better way so you can see me here all right maybe that's a little better anyway good morning I hope you guys all had a great morning or are having a great morning and I hope you had some great dreams last night. Anybody have anything really good that they want to share? Um, I'd love to have you do that in my dream interpretation, my closed group. So basically just go to my page or click on the link in the description and um, you can join my closed group. But that's where you can share your dreams and then the community can help interpret. Because one of the things I like to tell people, people send me their dreams all the time and I don't always know what they mean because especially if God is speaking to you, he's speaking to you in a language you understand, not necessarily something I understand. Now, I can help guide you um, and ask you certain questions to help you hear God and help you maybe interpret your own dreams, but sometimes I don't always have the meaning. So, and there are people that do have that gift. So, and also I can't interpret every dream. So, love for you to be in our closed group. Um, and uh, let's see what else let me know if you have any ideas or questions about things you want me to talk about in the upcoming lives remember I'm doing 30 days of lives today is day six every day at 7 a.m. so hope to see you here today I want to talk about healing receiving healing in dreams receiving gifts um, receiving deliverance and I have a couple examples of my own um, I just want to share, you know, because as I've mentioned in other lives, I get, um, I'm biblically based. So everything I get, I kind of look to the Bible and see if it's in there. You know, oh, is, did that happen in there? Oh, it did? Oh, okay, it's not so far out. There's a lot of far out things in the Bible. I mean, I'm telling you what, dreams are mentioned or the variants of it about a hundred times. Dreams, trances, visions, hundreds of times, um, angels, all kinds of different things mentioned in the Bible, supernatural. So um, just a normal way they were living back then should be the way we're living now too, huh? Um, anyway, I want to share the story of Solomon because he received the gift of wisdom in a dream. I don't know if you guys remember the story. It's in 1 Kings 3, but um, what I find significant, and you can read it there, is that he went to the high places. Um, it says he went to the high place, the most high place, and he is there sacrificing to other idols. And if you know anything about the Ten Commandments, you know that one of the Ten Commandments is, Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. So he's up there sinning. And he's sacrificing. I think it says he sacrificed like a thousand um, sacrifices. So he's up there sacrificing a lot. And he falls asleep. And it says... At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream, and God said, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Now, here's what I think is crazy. In the midst of sinning, God comes to Solomon and says, Ask of me what you want, and I'll give it to you. It just shows the mercy of God. It just shows that even in the midst of our mess, that God still loves us. He'll still come to us. Um, now, I'm not promoting sinning, but... What I'm saying is that he's so merciful. He's so out of the box. Um, and so Solomon says, um, You have shown great kindness to your servant, my father, because he was faithful to you and righteous and upright in heart. You have continued this great kindness and have given him a son to sit on his throne this very day. It goes on to say, I'm only a child. If you would give me a discerning heart, if you would give me wisdom to rule. And God says, I'll give it to you. Further down, it says, since you have asked for this and not for long life or wealth, nor have you asked for death of your enemies, but for discernment and administering justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked. I will give you both riches and honor so that in your lifetime, you will have no equal among kings for um, no equal among kings. And if you walk in my ways and obey me like your father did, I will give you a long life. Wow. I mean, talk about going to sleep and God coming to you and say, I'll give you whatever you want. That's awesome. You know, the Bible says in James that 
If any man asks for wisdom, God will give it to him graciously. But if you ask, you must believe and you will receive. But if you don't believe, you're like a um, double-minded man. You're like tossed through the, sea, through the sea. And I'm paraphrasing. That's like Jamie's paraphrase. But I love the, I mean, to me, that sounds like gifts. That sounds like God will give me what I want, what I request. There's a gift in store. So I want to share, really, I had a dream. And in this dream, well, first off, let me precursor what was going on before I had the dream. I was angry. For two days, I had a very bad headache. And as I had this headache, I just kept getting angrier and angrier. And I'm typically an angry person, but I don't, I just was really upset and just, grr, you know. And I went to sleep like that. And, you know, what's crazy is that the Bible says in Ephesians 4, it says, and I wrote it down, in your anger, do not sin and do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Well, I thought that meant with your spouse and I wasn't angry at him. So um, I went to sleep like that and was just really tormented in my sleep, even having so many thoughts. Like I literally remember having like steam coming out of my ears. I was so angry when I went to sleep. And I had this very vivid dream. So again, <clears throat> I'm in this place where I'm angry. I'm kind of have myself opened up for just more and more of that. So what you focus on, you get more of is what I believe. And I just had myself open up for more. And I went to sleep like that, but I had this vivid dream. And in the dream, I am, let's see, what did I write in my notes here? I am, oh. I'm at a family member's house and I am puking. I know that sounds gross. I'm spitting up, whatever. And I did it three times. And each time I did it, I started feeling better and more and more better. And I started like feeling lighter. And then I woke up. And when I woke up, I was sweating, but my headache was gone. And all these bad thoughts were gone. And, and in fact, all the anger was gone. I was thinking about what I was angry about and it was laughable. I mean, it was ridiculous. And immediately I got an interpretation of what that dream meant for me. And since I was at a family member's house and this family member was three generations back in my bloodline, I felt that the, the anger came back from three generations in my bloodline. And the spitting up, I spit up each time for each generation. And um, in that, I really, you know, if you vomit in a dream, it usually means you're getting rid of something unhealthy, you're having like explosive, you know, getting rid of something really unhealthy. And that's basically what I did. And I couldn't do it on my own. I feel like and, and because the dream was so vivid, um, and I talked about this earlier is that dreams can be when they're very vivid like that, especially when they are positive and they bring healing. Like in this case, I believe that dream was from God. And so I literally got healing in a dream. Um, I also once had uh, a dream where I remember I was sick and I didn't feel good. Again, one of the things that just being personal in my life that I struggle with a lot are headaches. Um, I get headaches for any, whenever I get off balance, I eat too much sugar, I eat too much salt, I, I don't get enough sleep. Like I get headaches. Um, I get stressed, I get headaches. And you know, it's just one of those things that I'm always asking God for healing. And, um, and I feel like he brings that to me. But you know, I had another dream and in this dream, I, you know, before I had been praying and just really asking God, like, why do I get all these headaches? Like, what can I do? What can I do? I don't want to take pills. And I had this dream. And in a dream, an unknown person came to me and handed me a glass of water at my bed. I was laying in bed and an unknown person came to me and handed me a glass of water. And what's crazy is that, um, well, I don't want to say it's crazy, but... Um, whenever I dream about unknown people, and, and I've talked to other friends about this who dream regularly, and, and you know, the, the, we just believe that some unknown person coming to you bringing a message or an unknown person coming bringing you something is an angel. Because what are angels? They're messengers. They bring um, messages. And in this dream, I felt like an angel came to me, brought me the message of like, hey, you need to drink more water. 
seems super simple, right? And so that's what I did. As soon as I woke up, I drank a ton of water. It felt so much better. So I felt like that dream, I didn't necessarily get healing in the dream per se, but I got a revelation of something that could bring healing. And um, I just believe that, you know, if you're talking to God and asking questions, he's going to give you answers. And sometimes during the day, we're so busy, we don't have time. And God just, you know, he'll break through in the nighttime when we're, our, we're resting and he'll speak to us. So that's basically what I wanted to talk to today, just about receiving healing in a dream, believing that you can receive healing, um, believing if you ask God for wisdom, you can receive it, and um, just expecting God, even in the most expected, expecting, even in the midst of mess in your life, not even really being, maybe you're not even walking with him or you're walking some area that's ignorant like Solomon was, you know, sacrificing to other gods on a high place. God still showed up. Um, and I believe that God is talking to us all the time. A lot of us just don't know it's him or we don't recognize it as him, but he does want to talk to each and every one of us. And so, um, Again, have any questions for me, Put type them in the uh, comments. Um, also, if you know anybody who is a big dreamer this could, or somebody that this could help, please feel free to share it. And um, don't forget about joining the group. If you want to join my dream interpretation group, you can just click the link. I ask you a couple questions and then, you know, if you have a dream, even if you don't have a dream, we'd love to have you in the group. You can kind of watch and see how the other dreams are being interpreted. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great Father's Day weekend. I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to talk about fathers and dreams for Father's Day. So um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Have a great Saturday.